Welcome back to Orangeburg, South Carolina. We're, it's the beginning of the second quarter. The score here in Orangeburg, the South Carolina State Bulldogs 14, Alabama 7. All set to kick. TJ Yeldon, Bobby Humphrey, and Sean Alexander back to return the kick. There's the kick. Great kick down to the 10 yard line. Humphrey feels the kick at the 10 yard line. Taking down, nice tackle. That's Murphy on the tackle. It's going to be first down and 10. First down and 10. For the tie. The crowd is on their feet. The student section is going crazy. And the tide seem to be motion going to the left. They seem to be kind of out of sync. <laughs> Neymar takes the snap. <laughs> Handoff going up the middle. Handoff to TJ Yeldon, number four. <laughs> Taken down in the backfield. That is Smith on the tackle. Looks like a gain of a yard. Second down and nine for the Crimson Tide. Namath under center. <laughs> takes the snap. Namath hands the ball off to Sean Alexander. <laughs> number 37, Sean Alexander takes the ball. <laughs> And he is hit in the backfield by Tom Evers, a huge loss. Third down in 15 for the tie. Huge play by the Bulldogs. Tom Evers with a big tackle. And it is definitely down on the field. Mm -hmm. It's loud. Namath dropping back, dropping back, looking for a receiver. Joe Namath dropping back, looking for a receiver. Pass protection. He's got a receiver open. Can he complete the pass? Joe Namath scrambling around, looking for a receiver to get open, and Namath has to get this ball away. Heavy pressure coming from the Bulldogs. Namath has got Humphrey out the backfield. Looks like he's going to just dump it off. Pressure coming from the Bulldogs. Graham and Farmer in tow. Catches the ball. Humphrey. Nice tackle. Dennis Table takes him down at the 40 yard line. Fourth down and two. The Bulldogs defense screaming for the home crowd to get to their feet on the big play. Namath takes the snap. The Tide only need two yards. Namath dropping back, looking for a receiver. Huge play for the Crimson Tide. Can they complete the pass? Joe Namath throwing the ball in the traffic. If Yeldon can make this catch, it will be a first down. Completed. Great catch. And Yeldon brings it down. Great catch. Taken down by Fox at the 45-yard line. First down and 10. Crimson Tide. First down and 10, huge play. That's gotta be a huge energy boost for the Tide. The crowd was on their feet and you can hear this stadium vibrating around the stadium. It was loud, <laughs> takes a snap. Looks like he's going for another pass. Name of dropping back, handoff. Namath having a horrible day, slips down during the handoff. Humphrey with the ball, pressure coming from the Bulldogs. Humphrey, great speed, great cutback by Humphrey in the clear. Taken down, that was Downs on the tackle. So far, the second quarter has been a dog fight. The crowd rooting the Bulldogs on. The Bulldogs defense holding strong and the Crimson Tide have been able to do something that they were not able to do in week two. 
as they play the regional, a regional broadcast against the North Carolina Tar Heels. That game ended up Carolina 25, Alabama 0. But the Alabama offense was not able to get the ball in the end zone, although the defense played a great game against the Tar Heels. The defense was just not able to hold for four quarters. The offense was three and out, three and out, throwing interceptions, fumbling the ball, just made it very difficult, put a lot of pressure on the defense. Here today, the Tide controlling the box, controlling the line of scrimmage, and trying to, trying to take this game back. <laughs> Looks like a new quarterback in. David Cornwell is in the game. Namath has been taken out. Cornwell looking to pass, approaching the line. Cornwell scrambling around, looking for a receiver. And he has got Julio Jones wide open. Cornwell comes into the game for the first time. The second screen quarterback got Julio Jones wide open. This could be a huge play. Incomplete pass, overthrows. Second down and 10. The Tide controlling the second quarter. Playing ball control. And the stingy Bulldog defense giving up no ground. Incomplete pass by Cornwell. Takes the snap. Cornwell approaching the line. The Bulldogs bringing the pressure. That is Tom Evans. Cornwell scrambling. Looking for a receiver. Heavy pressure coming from the Bulldogs. Fox and Farmer in Cornwell's face again. Cornwell looking to complete the pass. He's got Bobby Humphrey wide open. Huge opportunity for the Crimson Tide. Completed. Great catch by Humphrey. Humphrey is having a great day. Great catch by Humphrey. Touchdown Crimson Tide and Humphrey. It's been in the end zone. This is his second touchdown in the game. We're down to a minute and 35 seconds to go in the second quarter and the Tide are on the board. Wait a minute, wait a minute. We have several flags down on the field after the touchdown. The referee's ruling is encroachment on the defense. Five-yard penalty. The Crimson Tide's offense, the head coach, has decided to decline that penalty. Touchdown for the Tide. And after a tough 10-play offensive drive, the Crimson Tide get the ball in the end zone. The score here in Orangeburg, Alabama, 13. South Carolina State, 14. Set the kick to extra point. <laughs> the kick is good. And we are all knotted up here in Orangeburg, South Carolina. We're at the end of the second quarter. A minute and 35 seconds to go. Can the Bulldogs hold on? They'll be getting the ball back after the half. All set back to receive Sam Leak and Joel Brown. Deep back to receive. There is the kick. Great kick. Clyde Bostick fills the ball at the 27-yard line, who has already returned a kickoff back last week against the Howard Bison. Bostick taken down at the 40-yard line. Great return by the Bulldogs. First down and 10. A minute 35 seconds to go in the second quarter. Approaching the half. Can the tide hold? <laughs> Crowd is on their feet. Henry dropping back. Pressure coming from the tide. Sweet play goes to Joel Brown. <laughs> Looks like he's stacked up in the backfield. Joel Brown <laughs> up in the backfield. Big play. 
and we caught Coach Roseman as the Alabama Crimson Tide are going into the field house. We are here at halftime, and we had an opportunity to talk with the coach, and the coach said that in this game, his intention was to just try and keep the Bulldog defense on the field and wear them down with a slow and steady offense. And it looks like it worked. The Tide have managed to get back into this game. The coach said that he's going to just continue to open his playbook and continue smash mouth football the Alabama way and just try and bog the Bulldogs down and pull out this win. Right now, coach sitting nice, feeling good about his strategy. And we caught coach Bernie Jones going into the field house. We are here at halftime. Coach, the Alabama Crimson Tide coming off of two tough losses, not even scoring against the Tar Heels. What is it that you're going to do, Coach, here in the second half? The Tide seem to be trying to slow things down and play very conservative to control the defense. What's your, what, are your, what are your thoughts? Well, you know, they were ne really never out of the game. Uh, we went into the second quarter, and we were on, they were only down seven points. You got to understand, and we do understand here this coaching staff, that they like playing a controlled kind of game. Second quarter, they started to get into their game. Our defense really played well. They did earn uh, the score that they got. But we're looking to come out into the second half and play our game. Uh, we're going to spread them out and try to uh, take advantage of every opportunity that we have and get back on the scoreboard and make them uh, push the ball down our folks again. You know, uh, sometimes that works out for you pretty good. It make, let them play their game. That clock is working on my side. I got the lead, and they're trying to play their game. So we're going to see what's going to happen in this second, uh, second half. We come out getting the ball. We're going to do our thing and try to get points on the board, try to control the tempo of the game. We'll see you guys, see what happens in the second half. Well, that's it for me down here on the field. The score here in Orangeburg for you guys up in the booth. Alabama 14, South Carolina State 14. We're all tied up here in Orangeburg. I'm gonna take it back up to you guys. Alabama is coming into this game with an 0-2 record right now. Coach Roseman is trying to get control, trying to get things back in gear. And right now, um, Coach says that they, they like to play a very conservative run control game. And last week when the Tide was in Legion Park down in Fayetteville playing against North Carolina Tar Heels, they were unable to move the ball offensively. They had a few missed opportunities that led to some key breakdowns in the way of turnovers. And that really hurt the Tide. The Tide was never out of that game, though. The defense stood strong. The defense played a great game. And had the offense been able to take advantage of some of those, those um, lost keys, that game would have been a completely different game. So now we're going to take you back to week two last week highlights. I um, want to welcome everybody. This is our halftime show. And we're going to take you down now. Here are the fourth and one halftime highlights from week two. Alabama versus North Carolina. We'll see you guys back here after the half. Welcome to the Fed 8 Halftime Spotlight. It is week two, Alabama versus the Tar Heels. And as you can see here in the opening drive, the Alabama fumbles the ball, the Tar Heels recover and run it in for a touchdown. On the ensuing drive, however, the defense holds. Alabama is able to get an interception, but the offense stalls and are unable to score. The Tar Heels get the ball back, and as you can see here, Johnson is able to connect with Nelson for a long 75-yard touchdown. On the following drive, the Tar Heels intercept the ball and are able to score again. But the Tide were able to make some big plays. Several wide receivers open, Julio Jones open, Bobby Humphrey here open for another big play. TJ Yeldon open across the middle 
for a third big play. The tied offense moves the ball, but once again they get inside the red zone and is unable to score here. Uh, another connection to Yeldon on the post route going across the middle. He gets run down at about the five yard line. The offense stalls and here the Tar Heels are able to score. Johnson connects with the running back. The Tar Heels get the win.